what's up? Amelia here and you're watching Newsbreak. It's been another big weekend of flooding for Australia's east coast. Thousands of people have had to evacuate their homes and floodwaters are still rising in parts of Victoria. Here's Kale. This is something we've seen a lot of this year. Kayaks down the middle of flooded streets. In Marupna and other towns in rural Victoria, it's the main way people are getting around. I'm figuring out whether dogs come in the kayak with me and we go to the other end of town. Since last week, heavy rains on Australia's east coast have caused rivers and dams to overflow. More than 9,000 homes have been flooded, while thousands more have been cut off due to floodwaters. I had a home. I don't know when we'll be back. We are going to stay at home and ride it out, but no, not worth the risk. It doesn't look like Shepparton anymore. It looks like a, a bigger lake. Experts reckon these floods could continue for weeks. And with more rain on the way, more people have been told to evacuate. In parts of Tassie and New South Wales, floodwaters have gone down, but that means the clean-up begins. Oh, it's pretty devastating. Like, you come home, you, everything you work for is here, so... The amount of water went through there was unbelievable. Destroyed basically all our stuff. The federal government has announced flood support payments for those affected across Victoria, New South Wales and Tassie. $1,000 for every adult and $400 for kids. For stacks of Aussies, it really has been a long, wet year. I'm just going to keep rocking up and keep living here and, yeah, we'll just keep going again. If it floods tomorrow, we'll go again, so, yeah. It's just the Aussie spirit, I suppose. <laughs> you just keep going. All of those Paddington bears left in tribute to Queen Elizabeth II will be given to charity. People left them at royal residences across the UK after the Queen's death last month. But they've now been collected and professionally cleaned and Buckingham Palace says it'll donate them to a children's charity. And here's Queen Consort Camilla posing with some of them. Australia's wheelchair rugby team, the Steelers, have won gold at the World Championships. They beat the US in a tense final. Here's Amal with that and more in sport. And the buzzer goes. Australia are the world champions. That's right, you're looking at the 2022 Wheelchair Rugby World Champs. The Aussies, known as the Steelers, defeated the United States 58-55 to in the final. It's their second world title since 2014. And after going home medalless at last year's Paralympics, it's a big deal. Everyone give it up for Madison de Rosario. She's just been named Athlete of the Year at the Australian Women in Sport Awards. This is unreal and I think, you know, I think there is, there is moments like this where it all kind of comes together. The Paralympic champ won two gold medals at the last Paralympics. There is the winner. She's also the first Aussie to win the New York Marathon in any category. Impressive! Aussie Jack Miller has had a tough time at the Australian MotoGP. He was in third when this happened on the eighth lap. But Spain's Alex Rins had lots to cheer about. He took the lead and the win in the final lap. A 16-year-old chess star from India has beaten world number one Magnus Carlsen. Gukesh D is the youngest player to defeat the Norwegian Grandmaster since he became world champion a decade ago. The teenager beat Carlsen in round nine of the Aim Chess Rapid Online Tournament. Carlsen wasn't happy about it, but he said his opponent has been extremely impressive lately. The Parkour World Championships are here. And by here, I mean in Tokyo, Japan. The three-day event saw the best parkour athletes from around the world gather to do this and this. Macquarie Dictionary defines parkour as an extreme sport which makes use of obstacles encountered in an urban environment to perform a variety of gymnastics and acrobatic movements. <sighs> this event featured both speed events and timed routines. 18-year-old Miranda Tibling took out gold in the women's speed event while Dimitrios, known as DK, won the men's freestyle. And didn't his fellow competitors love it? Well, that's it, and I'm gonna jump on out of here. <laughs> Not really, I'm just gonna leave quite safely. Oops, step, watch that.